Welcome back friends to another Excel video. I wanted to give you a quick tip that could have a huge impact on your accounting department. Start using cover pages in your Excel spreadsheets. How often have you had this experience where someone in your department hands you a spreadsheet and you open it up and it is a mess? There's numbers everywhere, there's formulas everywhere, you look around, you can't figure out what in the world is going on. A cover sheet could really help this situation. And one thing that you should start to think about is what are ways that you can standardize across your accounting department how you build spreadsheets um, and how you organize these processes because it's all about helping your team work better together and get more organized. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's just a sample template Excel spreadsheet. And what you would typically see is down at the bottom here, you would have multiple tabs with different data and different calculations and different formulas down here. But at the front, you would just have one tab and let's just call it cover, just be your cover page. And you would just have a whole bunch of uh, useful information here so that when somebody opens this file up, they'll, they'll instantly understand what is going on in this file. So basically, just going through this really quick, you just have a bunch of useful information on here. You'll have your name of your business. You'll have a title for the page. I have on here, this will be a sales projection. You can have on here who the spreadsheet was created by, what their contact information is. Um, you should put the date it was created. Um, if there's like a version number or a, if you have a revision process or what was the last major modification, you can have that information down here. Um, here I also have the date of the data. So if this is a sales projection, what is the period of time this projection is for? Um, I have this right here, uh, uh, 2020 quarter three updated on this date. And then I have a short purpose statement. This is just a short sentence that explains the purchase or explains the purpose of the spreadsheet. So here I say, this spreadsheet combines historical financial information with risk weighted values of sales leads. I know you guys can't see that, um, but it's just a short description of what is included in the spreadsheet. And then I have another couple of information um, down here as well. So below that, I have assumptions. Now, I'm going to make a whole video on assumptions, but basically assumptions are really important. Assum when you talk about financial analysis, it's really all about your assumptions. And so when you're making Excel spreadsheets, you want those assumptions to be crystal clear. And one thing that I do is if there's key assumptions you're using, like a rate for inflation or a rate for cost, uh, cost of capital, I'll put those assumptions right on the cover page so that people know what are the key assumptions I'm using. Then if there's key formulas um, that you're using in the spreadsheet, I would put them here. And then what I also do is I also put results. What is the bottom line of this spreadsheet? I'll put the results right on the front page. So let's say this is a sales projection, right? What I would do here is on this cover page, I would have the bottom line of this spreadsheet. I would have 12 months here, January through December, in this column, and then right next to it, I would have the monthly sales projection for each month. And that would, I mean, that's essentially the bottom line of this spreadsheet. And then you have all these tabs behind it that would essentially be the backup for this bottom line, like how you came to that number, what are the calculations, what are the sales leads, and it would all roll up into this, uh, this cover, cover page. And so what's happening is someone will open this up and it, they won't even have to go through the spreadsheet. They'll just instantly see, oh, okay, that's what's going on here. I get it. It makes sense. And so if you do these kinds of things, put cover pages on your Excel spreadsheets, it's just a, an easy way to communicate, get your team working together and become real organized. Um, and because accounting, a lot of accounting is really about that. Organizing your data and using it well as a team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you have more accounting questions, you can always email me on my website, wolvesandfinance.com, and I will reply with my rates. I'm Zach from Wolves and Finance. Let's go out 
and make some money.